All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil car repair shop and a sports car with sound. This is basically about that car in the center and a bunch of parts that you can use to customize it. The car itself is a sporty two-door with kind of a, a fast back to it. Looks a little bit like an older generation of Mustang to me, although it's definitely not a, uh, a licensed product here. Has a couple of stickers, you know, sponsor stickers that you put on it and some, some custom wheels. A uh, pretty demure uh, paint scheme, you know, the colors are, are kind of uh, muted and it's also matte, it's not shiny. They give it a kind of a probably a matte wrap or something like that so it's it just doesn't stand out all that much but it, it's kind of clean except for the stickers and maybe except for the wheels but there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this thing to change it up let me see if i can do this in real time here take off the top now it's a convertible there's a different rear deck lid that you can place on there just uh, pull that off pull this section right here off oh there it goes. The entire thing just comes off. It's all kind of snap type of stuff. Got a little hood scoop that you can just toss on right there. Another thing that just snaps into place. What about these sides? I just want to take off the entire side panels. These are a little bit, a little bit tough. You want to be a little bit careful. Oh, or not. Just uh, rip it right on off. They have just a couple of, of spots where they, they hold these pieces in. But you've got two of those, one on, other so on either side. Let me take off this front and put on a different bumper here. Kind of uses the System X style of, uh, of front end. This is just crazy. And then similar thing back here with a different bumper. Place that on there. And this thing still has four full seats. You can actually put four complete, regular, adult-sized Playmobil figures in there. You've got a steering wheel that can be turned a little bit side to side, but it's not actually hooked up to the wheels. But let's turn this from a, a four-seater, or kind of a two plus two, into just a plain two-seater. Put a big old booming sound system in it. And when I say sound system, I actually mean sound system because this has some kind of comically outdated uh, electronic tunes and looped tunes in it. <laughs> That's why they call it with sound. Now, unfortunately, this is going to play for a little while, so let me fast forward. Here's another tune that also plays for quite a while. There's a horn sound that really doesn't go with this car at all, but... Sure! The best sound that this thing actually has in it, and I think that the one that kids will use the most, is all the way over on the end. Actually turning on a vehicle and then you get to hear it driving around. It actually makes driving sounds and screeching sounds. That's pretty cool. Now the things that fit here the worst that just don't really go right now I think are the the wheel covers but they give you some tools. I've got a, a lug wrench here but that's not actually going to work for this. This is actually just for for figures to hold and for decoration around the, the shop to make it look more realistic. They give you a bunch of tools as well as a, a cart or a, a little holder for all of them. A bunch of good looking tools. Let's see if I can find one that will actually help me here to get these wheel. They're basically wheel covers. There we go. They can just pop out. Actually using the tool is a, a good thing. I appreciate that. And then I can change up the style. Well, I could leave it like that with a real deep dish kind of look, or I can pop these inserts in that fit a little bit better with the red accents. So there you go. I have just given you a full transformation of this vehicle from a almost stock kind of form to, to a more tuner, tuned up look with the hood scoop, some ground effects, and some graphics, and a big old sound system in the back. And that's really what this set is all about. You saw these walls that were behind there when I first started the video. That's what just holds all this extra stuff. This is kind of like a, a tuner shop, really, and they have their display there. I guess I've got one of the one of the things is still on the vehicle right now, but you have all the stuff up on display that you could potentially purchase to upgrade your vehicle. So each of these things has its own little little place. And this is just a big old sticker that's placed on it. They also give you some other small things. So this is just a little laptop computer with a sticker 
for its uh, for the screen to show you some engine related stuff. You could use this, you know, in an imaginary sense, use it for for tune-ups, for checking your fuel mapping on your engine, you know, on your on your ECU. They give you a couple of these these bottles of, of uh, I guess they would be oil or it could be antifreeze or or gear, you know, transmission fluid, gear oil, something like that. And they also give you a very, very old one of these. In the United States, we call these creepers, or a creeper right here, which has nothing to do with Minecraft for folks who know about Minecraft, but it's just for working underneath the car. They also give you a couple of ramps here to allow you to kind of work with that, although you end up getting just kind of, kind of limited uh, motion under there because this is supposed to raise up the back of the vehicle, but you see that the guy is still just barely able to get under there just a little bit with these ramps so it's not quite effective for uh, for working under there but maybe without that or maybe without the hat turn the head to the side <laughs> helps just a little bit speaking of the guy here he is he's a car owner and or mechanic shop owner whatever you want him to be uh, pretty good just a general outfit except for the the graphics on the front uh, i think that except for the the big number one there he just looks like he would fit in with just regular folks i don't know what the t stands for up on the on the hat maybe that's standing for tuning or tuner but a pretty good figure i especially like the pants and the, the color of green that he's got on there for me as an adult i think that a lot of the things in this set are just not very appealing but I do appreciate how it allows kids to just get right in and start customizing a vehicle. I personally like how the car looks in just its most plain form like this. I would probably end up just taking the stickers off, but I think it looks pretty good here just as a, as a nice sporty car to have around a Playmobil town. So I think this set is a bit of a mixed bag. It has some good stuff and some not so good stuff. But those, of course, are just my opinions. Please share your opinions, what you think about the set, about the car, and about the features here by leaving a comment down below. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll be talking to you again very soon.